Hi everyone! Um, so I haven't done a video or an update in a while and wanted to do a little update on life and IUI stuff. Um, so we moved, first of all, we moved two weeks ago um, and we're getting settled in a new house and it's really nice and um, we're getting unpacked and everything so that's all going well. Um, <clears throat> as far as the IUI stuff goes, I did not post a video about last cycle. Um, I did take Clomid last cycle on cycle days 5 to 9 and was doing urine OPKs at home and never got a positive test um, and finally got to like cycle day 20 and still hadn't gotten a positive test so I went in and had some labs done and um, it showed that I had already ovulated so we missed, totally missed that last cycle. So this cycle um, again did Clomid and opted to have blood blood work done every morning starting on cycle day 10 um, to ch test my LH levels rather than relying on urine tests because hopefully the blood test would be a little bit more accurate and we wouldn't miss the window. Um, so I started last Tuesday going in every morning for the blood draw. It got pretty old pretty fast and um, got the call this, this morning that uh, my lab work this morning showed that I did have an LH surge. My LH level is 26, which they want it to be 24 and a half or 25 and up. Um, but she also checked my progesterone since it was getting kind of late in my cycle and the, my progesterone was higher than they would want it to be, which indicates that I either just ovulated or I'm in the process of ovulating and doing an IUI tomorrow, which is the soonest that we would be able to go and have it done, would be too late. So we've again missed the window this cycle. Um, I was also doing OPKs at home and didn't get a positive on those either, so I feel like the Clomid is just messing things up. And um, so basically the options that I was given um, were that next cycle I could opt to forget about the, the blood work monitoring and be monitored via ultrasound, which I'm kind of annoyed that they didn't go to that this cycle, but whatever. Um, so go in and have an ultrasound done at the beginning of the cycle and then um, a little bit further into the cycle and kind of monitor the follicles and then when they get to a good size, most likely I would trigger with an HSG shot and then go in and have the IUI done, um, which sounds good. However, we are paying out of pocket for everything now because we've hit the maximum lifetime coverage for fertility stuff, which is ridiculous. It's whatever. Um, we don't have a good insurance for fertility stuff. Um, so, so we'll be paying out of pocket for this and so that will be with the ultrasounds and everything um, and the IUI at least a couple thousand dollars out of pocket. Um, or the other option is to just move on to IVF which is much more out of pocket, but the idea uh, would be that rather than potentially wasting a couple of thousand dollars on another IUI cycle, we would use that money towards IVF. And I, the nurse suggested, recommended that I make an appointment with the doctor and go in and talk with her, um, which I think I would have to do before going to IVF anyway. But, um, so anyway, so I, got an appointment with her, which isn't until the middle of January, so if I were to wait till my appointment with her to do anything, we would be out for J January and we would be looking at February for doing anything. Um, I talked with Eric, my husband, and um, he's not too concerned about the money aspect of, you know, whatever it is that we choose to do um, financially, like it's going to be a hit no matter what, but um, he's it's not a huge concern for him. So. We are going to go ahead and do the IUI with the ultrasound monitoring and all of that um, and hope that that works. Um, I am also likely going to talk to the nurse and ask to not do Clomid, um, instead to do Femera um, because I, I feel like the Clomid just isn't working right with my body. It's throwing things off too much and um, so we're having trouble getting things right. Um, so that's kind of the plan going forward. So December is out. I was really, really hoping and um, and positive about potentially ha getting a positive, you know, be finding out I was pregnant for Christmas and 
and all of that and um it's kind of devastating to all of a sudden be like yep no we missed it oh well you had all that blood work done for nothing um but it is what it is like there's no guarantees that we're actually gonna get things right and I would rather wait until things are perfectly lined up rather than just kind of go ahead and have an IUI done and potentially be totally off and have it be a waste because we only have one IUI attempt left before we have to move on to IVF just based on the limited amount of sperm that we have banked. So that's where things are at this point. Um, I'm waiting for a call back from the nurse to confirm that we don't have to wait to see the doctor to move forward with the um, ultrasound monitored IUI cycle. But hopefully if that is if that all works out right, then we'll start that up. Um, it would be towards the end of this month, I guess. So hopefully it all works out. Um, I would appreciate positive thoughts and baby dust and all of that kind of stuff. It's been a frustrating day and a frustrating couple of months to just feel like these cycles are just kind of a waste and we're just kind of waiting it out. So, um, so yeah, so that's it. I wanted to let you all know what was going on and um, hopefully I'll be back with more information and some other videos soon. So thanks for watching.